It's day 784 of Russia's offensive in Ukraine. Three Russian missiles slammed into a downtown area of the Ukrainian city of Chernihiv, hitting an eighth floor apartment building. At least eight fatalities were reported, with over 18 injuries. As the Russian forces continue to batter Ukraine, other countries, especially those on the European continent, have witnessed the jarring effects of the conflict. Germany in particular has struggled to recover post-COVID due to the effects of Russia's offensive. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is now on a mission to sway away Russian allies. He has been on a visit to China. For me, it is also important that it is clear that there is an unconditional desire to ensure that no arms are supplied to Russia. But that is also the question of dual use, must not go unheeded. Schultz had multiple meetings with the top Chinese brass and relayed his concerns about the supply of arms and ammunition to Russia. Chinese President Xi Jinping and Germany's Olaf Scholz had in-depth discussions on the crisis and have pledged to stay committed to abiding by the UN Charter. The world has for long been accusing China of providing aid to Russia, however, contrary to that, President Xi gave his axioms to prevent the conflict from spiraling out of control. It is very important to me that it is clear that Putin cannot simply continue this war as he started it. This war has no cause, no reason that is justified. And that is why it is terrible to see the brutality with which it is still being pursued. Our support for Ukraine is very clear. I am firmly convinced that the talks we have held here are a building block. This will help to ensure that we can now also talk about the issues that need to be addressed diplomatically. Last week, a U.S. intelligence report revealed that Beijing has increased equipment sales to Moscow, which has prompted the U.S. to raise its concern over China, providing military assistance to Russia. And so what we have seen over the past months is that there have been materials moving from China to Russia that Russia has used to rebuild that reindustrial base uh, and produce arms that are showing up on the battlefield in Ukraine. And we are incredibly concerned about that. The U.S. State Department also announced a visit scheduled by Secretary of State Anthony Blinken to China, aiming to raise this issue. And then the only thing I will say uh, further about that is the Secretary does plan to travel to China in the coming weeks, and you can certainly, uh, without getting too far ahead of those meetings, you can certainly uh, expect that that is an issue that uh, he would be expected to raise. Concerns still loom over what's ahead for Ukraine, as the conflict, even after two years, still sees no signs of easing out.